I'm going to go to Steve Kornacki, who sort of pressed the bat signal. What do you got? Well, we, again, Nicole, we're working our way through this exit poll. Again, 5 o'clock, we get our first look. We're now about an hour 45 till we get the real numbers from voters. But again, giving you a sense of what voters are telling us in this exit poll is on their mind. We showed you Biden's approval rating, 43 percent. Trump's favorable rating in Virginia, 41 percent. How about the candidates themselves? We asked about the opinion, favorable or unfavorable, of both candidates. And let me show you, Glenn Youngkin, the Republican in our exit poll, clocks in with a 53 percent favorable 44% unfavorable rating. Now contrast that with Terry McAuliffe, and you've actually got the opposite there. McAuliffe with a 44 favorable in this exit poll uh, and a 53% unfavorable. I think one thing that's notable, remember Terry McAuliffe did get elected governor before. He is a former governor. You know, back in 2013, it was uh, one of the things that made the race so close in 2013. McAuliffe did win, but it was very narrowly. McAuliffe had a very high unfavorable rating back then as well. So you are seeing a contrast on that favorable, unfavorable uh, uh, Youngkin versus McAuliffe. Also, let me see if I can call this one up here. We also asked this question, diving a little bit deeper into, we said education, 24% of voters saying education is their top issue. We asked the question this way, how much say should parents have in school curriculum? These are the uh, answers that came back. 53% of majority saying a lot, 31% saying some, 10% not much, 3% not at all. Uh, again, this is a 24%, basically one out of four voters saying it was education that came in as their top issue, Nicole. So Steve, if one in four voters said it was their top issue and 53% said parents should be totally involved, which is the essence of the Yunkin message, what is sort of your early sense of, of where what kind of night this is going to be? Well, I mean, the early sense is let's let's see when the votes start coming in, because I think the big question and let me see if I can call it up for you here. Let's take a look here. OK, this will be the Youngkin uh, McAuliffe map, but let's roll the clock back to 2020, because, again, Democrats won the state by 10 points last year. The strategy Republicans have with the education issue, it's about the suburbs. Let's zoom in on one of those suburbs, suburban counties, Loudoun County. Loudoun County has been the epicenter of a lot of these education battles in Virginia. Glenn Youngkin closed his campaign last night with a Parents Matter, that's what they called it, rally in Loudoun County. So here's what he's trying to pull off. Biden won this county by 25 points last year over Donald Trump. Just a massive, massive landslide. Here's what Loudoun County looked like. Let's go back to 2012. 2012 is the last time we had a presidential election that did not feature Donald Trump. This is the pre-Trump Republican Party in Loudoun County. Mitt Romney, less than five points. He finished less than five points behind Barack Obama in this county. Along comes Donald Trump, and all of a sudden, Republicans are losing this county by 25 points. So we see the exit poll here. It's hinting that, hey, it's possible Youngkin made some inroads here uh, on education. If he did, though, what we want to see is Loudoun County is one of the places you're going to see it. Is he eroding that Biden over Trump 25 point margin? I think everybody agrees it's going to come down from 25. The question is, how much was he able to erode it? Is it still somewhere in the mid teens? Is it still somewhere in the high teens for Terry McAuliffe? That wouldn't be enough for Glenn Youngkin. Is he knocking it down to 12 points to 10 points? Now he's getting into range. Is he getting it into single digits in Loudoun County? That would be incredible news for the Youngkin campaign. So when we talk about this issue of education, it was aimed at places like Loudoun County. It's not just Loudoun, though. It's going to be Fairfax next door. That's the biggest in the state. It's going to be down in the Richmond area, Chesterfield County. A lot of these suburban areas, it's going to be some of the swing areas, too, in the Hampton Roads, Virginia Beach, we're going to talk a lot about tonight. Let's see. Ground that was surrendered by Donald Trump, by the Republican Party under Donald Trump. This is how Youngkin thinks he can win it back tonight. So let's see. The exit poll gives us one readout. The real vote, though, is how much is he actually winning back on this?